that you want to get your apprenticeship over and done with and then you want to go straight to the mines because that's where the money is. They're offering such big money and all that, it's just, it's hard to want to stay. It's not all about the money. No. It can't be all about the money. It's apprentices versus employers as Dolby groans under the weight of its booming resources sector. Dolby's morphing at the moment. We've had a, a lot of issues with drought, but we're having a lot of issues now with the reverse. You know, the grant, town's growing exponentially due to the coal seam methane gas industry. Pete Walsh, Walsh and Court. Pete Walsh is a member of the Dolby Manufacturers Group. It's a loose collection of local industry owners that are worried about the flow of apprentices out of their workshops and into the resources sector. What we've seen is that as we've trained our apprentices, uh, the potential for them to move on has uh, accelerated. What other things we got to do? While emotionally, obviously, it's hard for him to see his young people go, Pete is also worried about the cost. Apprentices are expensive to train. For firms, it's devastating. Workforces can be decimated quite quickly by what we'd call is poaching. But you can't blame a newly qualified apprentice for taking a job that blows their last pay packet way out of the water. Triple to nearly four times the amount I was on. That's serious money. <laughs> You're telling me. Hi, my name's Shannon. I'm an electrician and I'm 23 years old. I've just been working as an apprentice and then I finished my qualification and I was happy to be working into this office in town here and they offered me a job and I couldn't decline with the money they offered. You know, I go back to those guys and I tell them they are not one of my team anymore. Mining companies have realised they're draining the town of its newly qualified tradies. QGC and Arrow Energy, two of the biggest gas companies in the area, have put up millions to build a pool of apprentices that they can use and to take the training costs away from local industry. Pete Walsh is still a bit wary. It needed to be done years ago. That's how I feel. Um, hey, my name's Tali. I'm 16. Tali's training to be a fitter and turner at a vocational training centre at the back of Dolby State High School. It's sponsored by Arrow Energy. My dad, he's, you know, you could always come back and try and get an apprenticeship back at my work and come back and I'm just like, yeah, I'll stay at the mines. <laughs> You're attacking my world. Now, if it wasn't for the program, it'd be someone like Walshy doing the training and then watching as Tali leaves for the mines. Walshy says that apprentices in Dolby have got it better than anywhere else and it's got to be like that if you want them to stay. But when he turns his back, even on the floor of his own workshop, the spectre of another departed apprentice looms. Do you feel like you'll stick around in Dolby, or do you feel like the allure of the resources sector, or the money in the resources sector, is a bit much? I might move off somewhere after I finish. Even though he's trying to instill in you this loyalty to Dolby? Yeah. <laughs>